Okay, this is YBR back with Beam and G Drive, and we're going to continue climbing Leap of Death. Now, this is on a different day I'm recording this, so this is actually a brand new truck. If there's any sort of real some minor damage at the end of the last video, well, it's not here anymore. Um, but at the end of the last video, I kind of, you know, I was showing you how to kill yourself, and then I killed myself, so I had to get a new truck anyways. So, you know, it really doesn't matter. You know, as far as I'm concerned, since I haven't made a mistake that kills myself, this is still like a one truck run. Because I haven't needed a second truck except for when I it kind of intentionally got myself killed, you know? You know what I mean? It's like, it's not like I made a mistake to require another truck. It's just the way things have been. I just haven't needed another truck. You know, you could argue with me all you want, but I don't care. I'm calling it first truck run. I don't care. Because that's what it feels like. It feels like I've been doing good. And I haven't made a mistake, so this is the one truck run. Yeah, well, at least so far. You know, I, I, we won't make it one truck all the way, of course, but we'll see. But yeah, we're just gonna keep going up, leap of death, no leap, no death. It's like the exact opposite of what the map was made for. You know, it was made for leaping and deathing. There's neither of those here, at least ideally. I need to use manual transmission. This automatic kind of, like, I don't trust it. I don't trust it to just stick it in first gear and just hold it there. Like what I would do right here, I'll just stick in first gear and hold it. So that way I could just kind of hold the throttle and I maintain a certain speed. Like if I hold the throttle 100%, I'm only going to go as fast as first gear will allow me. And it just, it makes, it, it helps me control myself because otherwise I'll be like, more power, more power, and dead. So with this way, it's like more power, more power, and top speed. And not dead. Which is the ideal outcome, not dead. So we just keep going, man. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Alright, we're screwed. We are screwed. That is not good at all. Alright, what is down that hole? What is down the hole if we fall down it? We're going to end up right in the water. That is... Really bad news. We need to climb out of this somehow. Come on. Come on. We can't fall in. If we fall in, we're done. Come on. Please. Please. Yes, wait. No. Oh, my goodness. It made it. I can't believe it. I was about to give up eventually, too. But then we go. We made it up. We. That is. That is ridiculous. I can't believe we made that. Like, I should be on my next truck right now. Second truck, as far as I'm concerned. I should be on my second truck right now but that was a miracle miracles do happen sometimes there's proof of it just hold the accelerator and eventually you'll get out of there alive See, I don't know if automatic transmission would have been able to do that like I think it would have been like upshift downshift upshift downshift and would never have had enough like full-time power to get the to actually get enough traction to get out of there you know like it would be too busy shifting and falling and sliding away to actually just accelerate and get out of there so manual transmission saves my life. That's why my car's a manual transmission now. Old one wasn't. And it needs a new transmission anyway. So it's like, well, I, I tried automatic out. It didn't work out well. So it, it died. And it stalled out all the time. Manual. Manual still stalled out all the time when I first got it. Because of me. But now it's better, you know. It's like now it's like, oh, it doesn't stall out ever. Until I, like, oh, God, I just, oh, no usually involves hey let me go driving with my work boots on after driving in sandals and it's just like where is the clutch and yeah it's basically I mean it basically boils down to that I'm like I lost the clutch you know it's just like it's I, it feels like it's a totally different catch point when you have for me at least when I'm having like my little sandals with like a tenth of an inch sole and, you know I step on a pebble and it's like I step on a penny actually and I could feel it you know and then I got my work shoes where it's like steel toe boots and stuff I'll step on a nail and be like huh <laughs> you know so it feels like it's like the clutch is at a totally different point. It's just like, I'll stall out still. It's like, sheesh. Alright. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. That looked deep, didn't it? That grass looked like it was deep. I wonder if there was water there. Because there's water right there. It makes sense. Still doing good, though. we just moving along this road. I wonder if I should downshift. Because, see, now I'm in second gear. And I'm going faster because the transmission allows me to. And that's... That is a death wish, really, isn't it? Oh, well. Let's just go for it, man. Oh, that looks that looks pretty steep right here. 
At least it's pretty smooth, so it's not big of a problem. Look at that, this thing's actually able to accelerate going up this thing, even though it's so steep. Like, it's not just maintaining its speed, it's increasing. Dang, off-road truck, you crazy. Oh, one thing I should point out, the textures probably look a little different than last video in comparison. These are the actual textures. Um, before I had my own kind of custom textures, which were just a little brighter. That made seeing the road a little easier, but it was kind of cheap, you know, to have that. I mean, really, it doesn't matter, but... Um, it, was, it wasn't actually intentional either. It was just the way I fixed it at that time was to use a different texture. Then I eventually figured out, oh, this is the texture it used. So I applied the original texture back. And now it looks exactly how it did originally, which is, you know... It's more like what it was made for, you know? Or made to look like, I should say. So yeah, we're just going to keep on going, though. We're going to get to the top. Maybe we'll do it in this video. My goal is to do it in this video since it took two videos to get up. I mean, get down. I want to do up in two videos as well. So we'll see how that goes, you know? But uh, we still got quite a ways to go, but we've only been in this video for a little bit, you know? Still quite a while for this video until I get bored of it and want to record another time. The hard part about these videos is you really can't edit it. Because then it's like... Like a lot of, you know, I try to make it look like oh, I don't edit it at videos, you know, that's my, um, my method to edit is like, you know, make it like a TV show or a movie. When you watch a TV show or a movie, you're not aware of every edit. They do the very best they can to make it where you're not, you don't see them, you know? That's how I edit videos. I like make, I like make sure it's like, you know, like frame perfect transitions and stuff and try to refl like flow my words together from different edits and stuff. Like every now and then one of them doesn't look so good, but most of the time people don't even think I edit. And it's like, yep, that means I'm doing it right. But, um, what was I saying? Oh, I don't edit this one at all. Because it's like, you know, sure, I could edit it, but then, you know, if I'm editing it, that probably means I'm cheating. You know, it's like, didn't you just reset your truck right there secretly? Yes. That's like the only time you'd really edit something. Because otherwise, you edit something out, it's like, you, you just skipped an area. Did you cheat? No. You know, I, this is like to show this is legit. You can't edit things when it's too legit, man. But it's always funny, people say, man, you don't edit enough. It's like, I edit perfectly. <laughs> when you say, I don't edit, that means I edit perfectly. And it's just... It's just the way I like to edit things. It's like, I like when it looks like it's just one take. I like to make it look like I'm amazing and everything is just one take. It's totally not the truth at all. But, you know, hey. I like making it look like it's the truth, you know? Like, shoot, I just recorded a video for a propane tank explosion thing. That was, uh, I believe... 17 parts spliced together. So, um... Yeah. Uh, you could look at that video as an example of my editing style and you can say oh that's where a video is spliced in that's where if you really look you could probably see it but for the most part it's really hard like usually there's like one or two things where it's like you could probably tell here that there's an edit but most of them it's like you can't tell like one of the things I oh oh one of the things I usually do though is I'll edit it in a way where it's like when I spawn a car and the camera shifts for spawning the car anyways I'll just put in a new clip right there so you you you, you would have to either know like you have to try to figure out did he actually spawn the car or was that um you know, uh, 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 edit, faking it, you know? It's like one of those things. And right here, this is a little difficult. We're actually struggling just a smidge. There we go. So yeah, I, I don't think I ever really talked about the, how I edit the videos, though, and that's how I do it, really. It's, I try to make it look like I don't edit it. It's, you know, one of those weird things. You know, other people, they'll be like, I make it, they make it super obvious they edit it. I do the exact opposite. You know, like those people who do, like, all those quick cut things, where it's like they're like just switch off to a new cut every few seconds and stuff and it's like super obvious it's like that's the opposite of what I do in a way it makes it look you know it looks lazy it's like you're too lazy to edit actually I put a lot of effort into making it look like I'm lazy that doesn't make much sense does it like why do you make it look like you're lazy I don't know it's just one of those things where I like the way the videos turn out better when I do that I just like it when it looks like it's all one take it's just it makes me look good it makes me look like oh my goodness it doesn't make me look like, oh my goodness, it makes me look like I know what I'm doing, you know? And I like that. So yeah, I'm just, you know, I just figured I should mention that. I, um, I also edit really weirdly. Like, I use, um, I edit entirely from the command line and use, um, a subtitle editing program to, um, get my frames right. So, um, yeah, it's, it's weird. I don't use a video editor at all. I just use the command line and a, a subtitle editor and I don't have subtitles or anything I just use that because it was like when I when I first was like I need to edit a video what do I have installed because I'm lazy and I was like I have a subtitle editor I'll use that and it actually works really well for that I haven't found anything that works better ironically enough than a subtitle editor for editing my videos 
but uh, it's just the way I edit them. I do it really unusually. I should probably make a video. Like, I plan to make a video that shows that, but then I forgot to. Uh-oh. Oh, goodness. Hold on. No more talking. We gotta focus on the driving. Okay. Okay, we're okay. That was bad. We had three wheels on the road, then we had two for a second, then we were okay, though. Yeah, let's not do that again. All right, slow it down a bit. But yeah, I um, I edit really weirdly, and I should probably make a video showing it off because it really is a, like, I guarantee you nobody else edits like I do. It's just the weirdest way to do it ever. It's like, I write down the times I want to edit it in the file name, and I click a button that's basically like the super render button, and it does all the editing for me. It, like, it just it do, it fixes the audio up. It just it does everything, and it's beautiful. And the only time I actually use like a video editor or something is when I really screw up on things. And that's, you know, I try not to... Usually if I screw up that bad, I'll just re-record sections. Because it's easier than using a video editor. I'm just I'll just re-record this. I'll just re-record that. I'll re-record it. That's why some videos like the propane tank ended up being 17 parts. I'm like, I'll just re-record that. And I'll just re-record this part. And, oh, now I gotta splice together 17 parts. And then I do it. And that video is actually... Speaking of that video, that one I've really rushed the editing. Hopefully it's not terrible. But I wanted to get it up the same day the mod came out because, you know, why not? But then it's like, uh, you know, I was like, oh man, I gotta get this edited up. So I'm like rushing through the edit. So I'm like, hope I, I, I didn't even really you know, do it as good as I usually did probably. But that's okay. You know, it's one of those things where probably most people wouldn't notice. For me, it's like, oh, that's one frame off. People wouldn't notice that, but I do sometimes. But anyways, we're just continuing on at this place. You know, no problems yet. I'm really, I'm really excited, you know, we're doing good. Now you could be, you know, you could be the jerk who says, no, that was like a five car run because you were trying to kill yourself intentionally and you did. Or you could be the, you know, the cool guy who I like who agrees with me. You know what, it's fair to call this a one car run. Because it really didn't have more than one car and get broken inten unintentionally. But I think we're going to make it. I think we're almost at the top. And that is a one car run if we make it. As far as I'm concerned. And, um, yeah, after this video, though, I plan to, um, do a video where I compare off this, going up this trail in the experimental versus stable, because it is significantly different, I'm pretty sure. And I wanted to kind of make a video to show you guys the difference, because it's one of those things where it's like, you know, a lot of people do say the driving physics in Demon G aren't that great. And, you know, for. For the most part, I agree. There's a lot of places they can be improved on, but they are improving it. And one of the examples is when you off-road now, it's just a lot better. I don't know if necessarily easier is better, but it feels better, you know? So there we go. We made it. We made it. And to celebrate, let's just jump. So that has been the Climb Up Leap of Death, which I think was actually a bit faster than going down it. Just a bit. That's kind of interesting, don't you think? I mean, I was just I was just plowing through it, and I think one of the reasons I, I was going faster is I was less scared. I'm just like, let's do this, and I'm like, yeah, I'm you know, I'm getting getting cocky, like, oh, I got this, you know. But I I did got that, so. Um, yeah, that'll do it though, and um, until next time, this is my YBR. I'll see ya.